team forecast with Carson Vicroy. Welcome back. It's now 1123. No tower cam. Carson, I want to see if our no, friend I, was out I got there. really scared. Really scared. Cynthia, yeah, I had I a couple not, of nightmares. I don't want to run into a winning wasp. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yes, what we're seeing right now, Cynthia, is just a few clouds around live Doppler radar. We're not seeing hardly any rain at all. Most of it is behaving and staying off to our northwest. Now, could that change a little later on today? The answer is definitely yes. But right now, across all of our East Texas, we're not seeing hardly anything at all. And that will continue to be the trend at least for the next hour or so. So here's future cast real quick. This is noon time today. Rain still stays to our northwest. We're just dealing with a couple bubble up clouds here in East Texas by five o'clock. That's when we do start to see a few of those showers and thunderstorms firing for some of our northern counties and deep East Texas. You're not exempt from this or anything like that, but through five, six, seven o'clock before the sun goes down, we will still see those rain chances in the area. This is nine o'clock tonight. Showers and thunderstorms possible across the Louisiana Texas line. But again, we're done for tomorrow morning. Morning, 8 o'clock, just a few clouds around. We will continue to see a pretty stout southwesterly wind that will be cranking up the heat and humidity tomorrow afternoon, which could lead to at least a slight chance of rain. But again, 10% or less will actually see the rain tomorrow as future indicates right there. We're probably actually going to see partly cloudy skies with a little bit of sunshine that's going to dominate. And then as we head into Friday, notice this change in wind direction that indicates a front and that could trigger a few showers and thunderstorms once again for us as we head into Friday afternoon. Already in the 80s along our interstate 30 counties. It's 84 in Pittsburgh, 84 in Quitman, Mineola, and 85 is the current reading at the Tyler Pounds Airport, 86 in Athens, it's 85 in Gun Barrel City. A little further down to the south, look at Jacksonville already at 88 degrees. It is 84 in Nacogdoches and 88 right now. That is the current reading in Huntington. So we hit 94 today. 30% of us see those rain chances. Rain comes comes to an end by sunset tonight. Lows falling into the middle to upper 70s. But once again, if you live real close to the Texas Louisiana state line, I can't rule out a stray shower through about 9 or 10 o'clock. Now let's talk about the future. Six to 10 day precipitation outlook and guess what? That actually gets us into the first week of August and August. Well, it's going to follow suit to what we typically see from a precipitation standpoint. Average or slightly below average rain. That is what is expected. And then we look at that temperature outlook. We could see a below average temperatures, which means more highs are expected to be only in the 90s. So we will certainly take that as a blessing because typically we've seen a few triple digits by this time of year. 90s Saturday and Sunday. We do have rain chances and the forecast Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. But notice for deep East Texas. Yes, we have the chance of rain today, tomorrow and Friday. We have high temperatures in the 90s and we have lows in the 70s. So nothing to complain about for this time of year. Cynthia.